Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back. Pre-patch is less than a week away from being released and with a pre-patch a lot of changes will come. Unfortunately, we're only going to have two weeks of pre-patch which won't give enough time for uh, everyone to level a fresh character to 60. But for those of you who level and not only, today we prepared the video about the items that will get changed, their stats will get modified from dungeons. Uh, a lot of items will get, hundreds of items will get their stats modified and some of them become real, real good. Some of them you can farm them now to have them on your alts uh, after the pre-patch as they are not uh, BOE or BOP. So you can have them in your inventory and then the stats of them will change. We're gonna start with the dungeons from the lowest level dungeon to the highest. And uh, this is the first part because there are a lot of them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below so we can make a part two before uh, pre-patch. So without further ado, let's start with the first dungeon as there are a lot of items. So in Ragefire Chasm, the first cape, the Subterranean cape, uh, which used to have two agility, two strength, now gets modified to four agility, four strength, a level 13 cape, which at that level, that's a lot of stats. If you're playing a rogue or a warrior, that's going to give you a great uh, stat boost to keep on leveling. Now for casters, the Crystalline Cuffs, which were, which had a 2 Spirit, 1 Intellect, now will have 2 Spirit, 2 Intellect, and an extra 4 Spell Power. Now, 4 Spell Power at level 10, that's a lot. And moving on, another item that uh, got modified, it's the Cursed uh, Fell Blade, which is a 260 Speed Blade, which requires level 13. And it gets a boost in damage per second from 9 damage per second to 12.3. And also the low end and the high end of the weapon damage gets modified from 16 to 22 and from 31 to 42, making this blade great for leveling up to level 20. Moving on to the next dungeon, which is Dead Mines. Uh, Dead Mines gets a lot of items uh, modified. A rock Slicer is the first axe, which used to be a green axe. Uh, with 7 strength, now will have a, a significant damage boost um, and damage per second boost, increased increase strength as well to 11. A great item. If you don't get your, if you do a dead mines and you don't get your uh, mighty hammer or um, the taskmaster ask, now you have more options. Moving on, uh, the Rakzor's hammer, which used to be a white, which you can, white item, you can farm it right now and send it to your alt that you plan to level and after pre-patch in your inventory will get modified from a white quality. You can even sell them if you want, <laughs> like to players or give them to your friends who want to level. So a level 15 mace, which goes from 11 damage per second with no stats to 17.7 .7 damage per second and 11 stamina. That's a huge boost, but as you will see, more and more items get the same treatment, the same stats modifier as we move on. The Miner's Cape gets an extra 3 stamina and some armor. Um, gold Flecked Gloves. Now, those drop a lot in Dead Mines. And from 4 Strength, 3 Intellect item, it gets modified to a 6 Intellect and 7 Spell Power item. This will probably be the new best in slot items for uh, the level 19 twin bracket. Seven spell power, it's a lot. Also six, six intellect. Um, it's pretty good at that level. Moving on, the buzzsaw, which is a sword that drops quite often, a 240 speed sword, gets modified from uh, ooh, like four extra damage per second and uh, four agility and three strength. This is, um, if you don't get your cruel barb, this is great for leveling. Uh, it's a one hand, so you can put it in off hand and use the cruel barm in mine hand if you're leveling a rogue or even a hunter. I would take one of those since it's not unique. You can get two of them. They drop quite often. Now, moving on to the next one, the buzzer blade, a dagger with 1.5 speed, which requires level 16. It used to be a white dagger. Now it becomes a blue dagger. And not only that, but it gets extra 50% damage per second increase and also increases your critical strike rating by 5 which at level 16 it's 2.32 percent crit this is so huge and it's not unique you can equip two of them so you equip two of those daggers at level 16 and you can get 5 percent critical strike rating that's pretty crazy so uh, this is going to be good for um things as well i would assume and um <laughs> it's a pretty nice dagger to be honest even if you use one enough hand as you level with even Warrior's Rogue, it doesn't matter, Hunter, whatever. 
Uh, the fun part a bit is that it's a white dagger. You can farm it right now and send it to your alt that you choose to level after the pre-patch or sell it to people. Whatever. This is like a huge, huge upgrade for that level. It's going to speed your leveling by a lot. The ring, which uh, used to be a blue ring, gets changed as well from um, DM. It used to have two agility, six intellect. Now it gets changed to six intellect. And this is the good part. Spell hit rating. We didn't have as casters as we leveled through classic and vanilla any spell hit. Now guess what? Spell hit rating by two and increases at level 17 by your hit rating by 1.44%, which is a lot. It's uh, welcome. No more misses on those frost bolts and shadow bolts and whatever you choose to level. This is another huge one. Unfortunately, it's a new equip equipped, so you can only have one. Uh, the smelting pans from the same boss we used to have five stamina, four spirit. Now we'll have eight stamina, seven spirit. Nice boost, but nothing special. Then we move towards the thief's blade, which um, a lot of swords and dead mines used to have three agility and eleven damage per second. Now gets modified to seven agility. Wow, this is gonna be nice for a hunter, a twink, and an extra four damage per second. Great offhand. Moving on, Smite's Reaver, which is an axe, a one hand axe with 190 speed, two strength, one spirit stamina, gets modified to two strength, three stamina, and hit rating. There we go. We started getting hit on low level items for warriors uh, that want to level dual wield. At this level, it's uh, about 1.16 hit. Uh, plus, you can equip two of them, or probably can find later on another hit item as an offhand. I think it would be great. Uh, but who the hell levels as dual wield fury i don't know but if you plan to do that be my guess uh cookie standardizer which was a mace with 280 speed similar to the cruel bar cross the cruel barb is the only sword in that level range with ha which had a 280 speed gets modified from 10 damage per second and three strength to uh 14 damage per second and six strength way better than it used to be so no matter if you join a dead mines runs you will definitely find a weapon for you Speaking of the dead mines, the De Defia set gets modified entirely, I think. The, the belt gets uh, goes from 5 strength and 45 armor to 50 armor and 18 attack power, which is great for a level 17 uh, belt. It remains bind on equip, so if you have a couple of them stored up, uh, sell them later. Uh, the harpoon from the boss before Van Cleef, uh, which had 7 agility as a two-hander, now we'll have 12 agility and there we go speaking of hunters and from 14 damage per second to 19 damage per second way more top end damage and low end damage if you put on this one you get it at level uh, 20 if you put on this one of 25 agility enchant and then uh, you rock with extra 12 it's gonna be good for leveling a hunter all the way up to probably 30 or 40 <laughs> you can even keep it too later on um other than that, uh, in DM, I think that's it. We're going to move to the next dungeon. We already are eight minutes into the video, which is going to take a lot. Well, in Caverns, another good one, another nice one. The Robes of the Moccasin, level 17 items, which had Strength, Stamina, and Spirit. Bad stats. No one would ever take this robe. Now gets changed to 6 Stamina, 6 Spirit, and 7 Spell Power for a level 17 belt. Uh, robe, pretty good. Uh, Belt of the Fang, which had 3 Stamina and 2 Agility, now gets uh, changed to 6 Stamina and 5 Agility. Way better. Uh, Serpent Shoulders, uh, white quality shoulders, which uh, used to be a lot of them everywhere. Now they get changed to 9 Agility Shoulders. It's probably the new best in slot for think Twinks. 9 Agility Shoulders, Warriors, Rogues, 9 Agility at that level for a Warrior. It gives you like probably half one crit or something. Uh, there's a shield at level 15 that it's white. You can farm it from the turtle boss. Now it's going to have a be blue um, and have a bit of extra armor and block. Nothing special. Armor of the Fang for druids, letter. Uh, two strength, seven spirit gets modified to eight strength, eight stamina. Way better. Now even warriors can roll on it and... Uh, Glowing uh, Lizard Scale Cloak um, gets modified from uh, 6 Agility and 2 Spirit to 6 Agility and 2 Stamina. They only modify the, the lower end stat. Uh, it's still a good cloak, um, however the one from uh, Deadmines might be better. 
Tail Spike, a uh, green dagger, 2 agility, 2 strength, and 11 damage per second. Gets 3 agility, 4 strength, and 14.4 damage per second. 1 8 speed, pretty nice dagger. Venom Strike, uh, and not only Venom Strike, I've noticed that most of the guns and um, the hunter weapons get a huge damage boost increase. So a level 19 bow, which used to have a 9.6 damage per second, now we'll have 16. It's almost double, but not double, and uh, high end damage modified significantly. Moving on, Serpent Gloves for agility uh, for intellect gets modified to 6 intellect and damage per second uh, up to, to 7, damage and healing uh, up to 7, uh, which is similar to the gloves from Dead Mine. So if you try to farm some uh, uh, twink items, you're going to be lucky with them. Now this will change the level 19 twink meta by a lot in TBC, so uh, I hope to see what's go what will be there. Uh, twinking, I think, uh, will be revived in uh, TBC. Foot pads of the Fang, which had 4 stamina, 4 agility, which were already decent, now get modified to 6 stamina, 6 agility. Uh, from green to blue color, Savage Toddlers uh, get an extra 3 stamina buff, nothing too much. And we're moving to the Living Root Staff, which uh, had 12 spirit, 2 stamina, 5 nature resistance, now have 12 spirit, 2 stamina, and damage and healing by spells up to 6. Pretty nice, this is a level 20, great for leveling, not great for the twinking bracket as we will find something better. Sporid Cape, 3 stamina, 2 spirit gets to 5 stamina, 4 spirit. Uh, slime Encrusted Pads um, will get from 3 health every 4 seconds to 4 mana per 5 seconds. Uh, Face Scale Cloak, 3 stamina, 2 spirit will get um, a huge 4 stamina and 5 damage and healing by spells. At this level, at level 15, this is huge. Just like the Cloak from Ragefire, which had 4 uh, strength and 4 agility, this one is huge. And it's going to be pro probably the new Twink item as well. Gloves of the Fang get like double their stats. 3 agility, 2 strength, now becomes 6 agility, 5 strengths for level 14. Huge. Moving on to the next dungeon, which will be Shadow Fang Keep. Shadow Fang Keep also has a lot of uh, items. Um, modified first and foremost the rugged shoulders which are level 15 now we'll have eight agility as well um lower level than the ones from um walling caverns but uh, still huge for leveling eight agility at that level it's like a blessing an offhand with three stamina and the stable lantern now we'll have four stamina and five damage and healing this is like huge four stamina and five damage and healing done by magical spells in effect if you find a nice one-hander wow bloody apron a, a robe that drops quite often from the first wolf boss now we'll have 12 stamina uh butcher slicer a 290 sword for level 18 two strength two stamina 11.6 damage per second will now have 15 damage per second four strength and three stamina huge it's like a cruel barb of um Shadow Fang Keep. Baron Scepter, a main hand mace with 240 speed, gets a significant DPS boost and uh, double their stats from 4 strength to 8 strength. Commander's Crest, the shield that drops from the first boss in Shadow Fang Keep, now will have dodge rating by 3, which is 0 0.4. Uh, it's a level 34. It gets some. It gets modified. It's not huge. Um, the War Axe gets a nice damage boost from 17 damage per second to 21.7. Also, their strength, 10, their stats get modified, 10 strength, 9 stamina, from 6 strength, 6 stamina. Girdle of the Blind Watcher gets modified from 3 intellect, 5, 3 stamina, 5 intellect to 7 stamina, 8 intellect. Hunting Blade, uh, 9 spirit, 2 hander with 380 speed. Uh, this is for level 21. But now we'll have enormous, like this, if you're leveling a, a warrior, this will be huge. Like 22 damage per second, 380 speed, a very slow. At level 20, if you have a blade like this, you'll, you'll hit like crazy. Plus it has a 28 attack power. So the spirit got completely removed. They buffed the, attack, uh, the damage per second by a lot. And the attack power gets up to 28. Moving on, this is like huge. At this level with 380, uh, unfortunately, it's not for level 19, so Twinks, but it's great for leveling, right? You can get it as a hunter, you can get it as a warrior, you can get it as a paladin if you want, doesn't matter. 
and plus it's a sword if you're human or so on you're gonna benefit from the extra skill uh, Fenris Hide, which used to have 4 agility, 2 stamina, level 20 white cloak. Now we'll have 6 agility, 5 stamina, pretty good. Black Wolf Bracers, 5 stamina gets to 8 stamina. Rift Bracers from 5 stamina get to 8 stamina. And now we're moving on to the cloth items. Felin Mantle, 10 intellect, 3 spirit, 2 agility. The agility will be removed. We'll get uh, only 2 spell power, which is not a lot, but still better than it used to be. Uh, Wolfmaster Cape gets uh, modified to 5 agility and dodge rating by 6, which at level 20 it's a lot, it's more than 1%, I'm not sure exactly how to convert that, but uh, yeah. Robe of Argal, uh, the iconic robe which used to have agility, stamina, intellect, uh, gets uh, their spirit kind of removed, which is not great for priests and other classes, but it gets 12 spell power at level 20, 12 spell power, it's pretty huge. Belt of Arugal, which um, used to have like the same uh, stats as the shoulders, now get an extra two spell power increase, which is nice as well. Uh, moving on, we're gonna go to the next dungeon, which is the Stockade, a Stormwind instance. Only one item gets really modified here, which is the Cam Walking Stick, a level 22 staff, which used to have three agility, eight intellect. Now we'll have 10 intellect and 12 spell power. Great if you run a boost in stockade to get it. Or a quick run, 12 spell power will help you a lot at level 22. Moving on from stockade to black phantom depths. Um, a variety of items get modified here. The tortoise armor from the, the first boss, the turtle boss. Uh, from 311 armor gets buffed with extra 6 stamina. A girdle, a cloth girdle with 4 intellect, 4 stamina for level 20 will now have 4 intellect, 4 stamina and 8 damage in healing. Requires level 20 but that's a lot of stats for this level, 8 spell power and uh, 4 stamina, 4 intellect. If you remember back um, in phase 1 like the, the belt from BRD had like 11, now you can have this at level 20, huge. Leather Gloves, uh, Naga Battle Gloves, 4 Stamina, 4 Strength, 4 7 Spirit. Now we'll have 7 Agility, 4 Strength, and 4 Stamina. Great for Druids, great for Warrior Rogues, whatever. The Naga Heart Piercer, a bow with 180 speed. Low damage per second, we used to have like 10. Now we'll have 16 damage per second and 5 Agility. I wouldn't recommend this for a Hunter as it's quite fast, but... If you get it at level 21, it's great, right? You just kind of spend arrows quite fast. But however, this for warriors, for rogues, as an offense, 5 agility at that level provides a lot of crit and uh, dodge and armor and so on. Dark Water Tower, a sword uh, with 13.4 damage per second, requires 21 level, will now um, have their stats increased by a lot and four strength as well. Uh, Reef Axe, uh, 5 Stamina, 7 Spirit, um, gets modified 2-hander to get an extra 4 damage per second and attack power by 20. So your orcs out there that are going to do a Black Phantom Depth, a Great Axe for level 22, so will increase the damage per second, increasing with that attack power as well. Pretty nice as well. Plot Pants, Gaze, Dreamer's Pants, 7 Intellect, 6 Spirits get modified to... Uh, moving on, the Glowing Treasure Cape gets modified from 8 Spirit 3 Strength to 8 Spirit 3 Intellect, nothing too huge. Band of Serakis from 4 Strength, 2 Stamina to 4 Strength, 2 Stamina and 6 Agility. Now, <laughs> this is huge, because as a Rogue, I remember that even at level 40, I couldn't find great Bracers for my Rogue. Now you can have those all the way to probably level 40 or something. Moving on from... Uh, Black Phantom Depths, we're going to move on to Nomergan. A uh, couple of items get modified here too. Uh, starting with the Spider um, Tank Oil Rag, which from 3 mana per 5 seconds gets modified with 6 stamina and 3 mana per 5 seconds. The Boots, the Gnome Bot Operating Boots, gets modified from 8 stamina and 3 spirit to 8 stamina, 3 spirit and 4 MP5. Uh, hot Shot Pilot Gloves, which are the Trash Gloves from Nomer, uh, require level 27. Uh, their stats get changed from having Agility and Spirit and so on, to having an extra... Well, they remove the Agility and they put 4 Spell Power. 
I'm not sure. I think you can get better gloves at lower levels, but uh, even though the extra stats with stamina and intellect and spirit will make them great uh, for a twink. A high-tech super gun, a super gun uh, 14.3 damage per second, level 24, another BOE, gets modified to have a lot of extra damage per second, like 4, and the damage increased as well. This is for Nomer, and we're going to move now towards the um, last for today, which is Razafran Crawl. Uh, Razafran Crawl, a lot of items here as well. Um, there used to be a white dagger, I think, here, but um, someone didn't add it. And the Death Speaker Scepter, um, which used to have 11 healing and damage done by Shadow Spells to 7, now gets modified to healing to 11. Mm, it's an extra damage per second boost. If you're playing like um, with a main hand as a shaman, it could help a bit to spike. Nothing too big though. The Death Speaker Mantle, 7 Intellect, 3 Spirit, gets modified to have a lot of spell power, like 9 Cloth Mantle. The Death Speaker Robes, which had uh, 3 Stamina, 8 Intellect, and 6 Spirit, now will have Spell Critical Rating. And keep in mind, this robe at level uh, 26, which uh, requires 12 Critical Rating, means like 2.5 crit. So at 26, I think this is going to be the new major best in slot uh, item for twinking. 2.5 crit, it's huge at that level. Pretty nice. Tusker Helm, uh, 9 strength, 8 agility, will now have 12 strength, 12 agility at level 27. Probably the new best in slot uh, for warriors. Helm, huge stat boost. Um, armor Piercer, a pole arm with 11 agility, now will have 16 agility and of course uh, some damage increase, like 4 damage per second increase for a pole arm. A Therene Leggings, which uh, are required level 29 and they're green right now by the way. 9 strength, 9 agility in the past, now will have 12 strength, 13 agility. We're going now at level 29, the same, to have the same stats on blue items as you have at level 40 or 45 and so on. Batwing Mantle, which used to have 10 Intellect, 3 Agility, 5 Spirit, will now get modified with 5 Spirit, 10 Intellect, and 4 damage per second. Night Stalker Bow, a 3 Agility Bow with 1.7 speed, now will just have its um, damage increase from 16 damage per second to 20 damage per second. Not great, I uh, think we saw a better bow in the past. Uh, Whispering Headdress, a head for uh, Druids, which had Stamina, Intellect, and Spirit. Leather Helm now will have Stamina, Intellect, and Spirit, plus an extra 14 damage and healing. Huge! So this is it, guys. Uh, kind of a long video, but uh, a lot of items, and I think it's some good information, especially if you're leveling. Maybe this will uh, make people, instead of buying boosts of leveling the characters themselves, as you know, leveling in uh, TBC, in the pre-patch, it's easier than in Classic. As the XP required for a level gets squished from anywhere from 10% to 25% up to level 60. So, for example, if at level 50 you require uh, 100,000 XP to level from 40 to 41, now you will require 80,000 instead of that, right? Plus, some of the quests in dungeons get like a huge uh, XP boost, like 30% more XP you get overall. Uh, if you plan to level 1 and you have time now, you should be able to do it the normal way. Please leave a like down there if you want to see a part 2. Probably it's going to be uh, finished until tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay frosty.